Thank you for joining me and um, watching this powerful video. So today I'm going into some deeper insights on the caduceus. Now the caduceus here is an ancient universal symbol and you might have seen it on different um, hospitals around the world or pharmaceutical companies, medical companies. They like to use it because it's just symbol, universal symbol of healing and health. So this symbol actually dates back to ancient Greece. Um, so it goes back to Hermes and Hermes, um, the messenger of the gods, had it on his rod. Uh, however, I have heard that it actually goes further back to Lemuria, um, a very special time. and. So the caduceus is known for being a symbol for health and healing. Um, however, it has several different parts which make up, um, which also has um, their own meaning, which I'll explain. And um, so this is a piece of art that I did and the caduceus is one of the main parts so I thought I'd explain it to you. Um, so, as you see, you've got the two serpents coming up here, and the serpents are a symbol for um, duality or polarity. So, they're the symbol for the yin yang, the male and the female, the hot and the cold, um, and that's why there's two of them. It's also a symbol of the Kundalini energy rising up, rising up. And um, it also, I mean, the serpent in general, it's had a lot, a lot of bad rap, really. There's a lot of um, fear being, being given to um, people of the snake, um, I think, because it goes back to the Garden of Eden and the serpent there, you know. Um, but yeah. I, I got over my fear, I was put around a lot of snakes which is beautiful and they've got amazing energy and they're really intelligent beings. So the serpent is on its own a symbol for the evolution of humanity and I always use the serpent in my art um, as you know it's always going up, it's always rising, it's like um, so it's explaining the rising of consciousness in humanity. Um, it's never going side or going down, you know, my art is always raising. Um, so it's helping raise, raise the consciousness. Um, also, I've added the chakra colours to go up the serpents um, to relate to the chakra points on his body. Um, and then we get to the where the two serpents actually look and actually recognise and realise each other and stare into each other's eyes. And then once that occurs, then we have the wings. Now the wings are a symbol of enlightenment, the symbol of um, pure like essence of of greatness. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's really, an, it's an angelic symbol, wings, you know, the wings of an angel and so it suggests an enlightened consciousness. And then also we have the, the rod. Now this rod is an alchemical, um, is a symbol of the alchemical process and it's, it's very aligned in the middle, a very balanced and so the overall symbol of the caduceus calls for um, inner balance and unity on, at all levels. So it's very powerful, powerful universal symbol. And um, you know, even though we might not think it has an, an effect on our consciousness, it really does um, 
because it's, it's, it's universal, you know, it's, it's been Im impressed into our subconscious for, 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 for how long? I don't know, but a long time. Um, even though we might not realise it, we still, you know, on a conscious level, we might not realise it, but on a subconscious level, we know, we know what it is. And um, so this piece, what, what I drew in like 2013, um, I called it the the uh, the healing healing and Merkaba activation healing and Merkaba activation and um, so I got inspired by Leonardo da Vinci and John Velo Melchizedek and um, so Leonardo da Vinci depicted depicted the Vitruvian Man and I I had to draw it because it's it is like it's the square and the circle, you know, which is another ancient symbol uh, of the, the feminine and the masculine energy. So the circle is the feminine energy and the square is the masculine energy. And them two combined together is pretty powerful as well. And um, so then I, I had the vision of having the caduceus around uh, the Vitruvian man which represents his healing and enlightenment um, of, of unity, um, of inner unity and balance. And then also we have the, his activated Merkaba um, in the star tetrahedron around his body which is the electromagnetic field that counter-rotates around um, everyone's body, everyone's got one, um, but this is activating Merkaba, so it's basically activating and healing um, all of humanity, is what the intention I did it with, and um, yeah, the caduceus is an amazing symbol, I use it in the quite a lot of my work is really powerful I love it so much and thank you I hope you've enjoyed my um, my interpretation of the caduceus and um, let me know what your favorite symbol is because I'm doing lots of um, different symbols I love symbology and my art's very symbolic so I'd love to explain more about different symbols to you and I hope you enjoyed you've enjoyed and um, thank you for watching thank you for liking subscribing and sharing and have a beautiful day namaste loves